Hey guys, this is Froggy2k9, and today I'm bringing you COD 4 gameplay from the PC. So, not going to be talking about the gameplay today. I'm actually going to be talking about manwidges. Yeah, manwidges. So, manwidges. Yeah, manwidges. So, if you have, if you have a perfect idea of what I'm, what you think a manwidge is, stick it down there in the description. I would really like to know what you class as a manwidge. So for me, for me a manwidge would be, it has to be a layer of bread, some butter, some butter on that bread, and have some kind of meat that goes as like bacon, some kind of bacon or sausage, whatever like that. Put a bit of lettuce, bit of tomato, and then stick another piece of bread on there, stick another piece of bread. Then what you do is you take an egg, you break the yolk, and you stick that on there. And then on top of that, yeah, on top of that, let's see, you take another piece of whatever bacon, sausage, whatever you're doing, stick that on top of there. And then stick the top piece of bread on. That would be a manwich for me. That now, I would enjoy that. So again, put in the description what you would class as a manwich. Second topic for this video is dedicated servers. Now, dedicated servers are brilliant. Yeah? Now, some people might not know, but with the consoles, the server is based upon the host, right? The server is based upon the user who is the host. So, everyone connects normally on a dedicated server. You will connect to a dedicated PC, right? There's a dedicated PC which everyone connects to. Even the host computer connects to the server computer, depending on what what dedicated server they're using. Some of them use dedicated server towers, and some of them just use dedicated servers on their actual on on a, on a gaming PC, for example. You can actually host servers. Some some PCs are actually designed to, to host servers on them, just a smaller smaller range of servers for more private use. Now, dedicated servers, there's a lot of advantages to dedicated servers. As such, on this you have a mod, which allows you to build kill streaks and keep your highest kill streak. I had a helicopter here for ages, right? I went through my UAV, my airstrike again, but I didn't actually get those kill streaks because they would have replaced the kill streak I currently had. So what it did was it, it left my it left my helicopter there for ages, and it just swapped it out. Or when I used it, I got I had one more kill until I got the next helicopter. So I used the helicopter, and within one kill later, I had another helicopter. A bit confusing, but I did, and that's that's the way it works. Now this game, and uh, sorry, now I'm going to be talking about hackers, right? Hackers have absolutely flooded the console version of this game. It's almost unplayable. This is why I like the PC version of this game. Because they had a hacker on here for about a minute, minute and a half before an admin was notified. Sorry about that. After the admin was notified and the admin realized that this guy was hacking, it's quite obvious that he was, he got banned. Now in the console versions, as you know, one player is host but he has no control over the server. No control whatsoever. There is nothing about that player that can actually control the server from directly his Xbox, from his from his from his interface. He can't actually control the server. It's it's preset, pre-ready, pre-ready, pre-made. And when somebody joins in, they can join in under their game tag. So they join under the server. And Technically, the host would be the admin, and he has no ability to ban or or punish that user for hacking. He could report it to Infinity Ward, but are they going to do anything? I doubt it. Same as Treyarch, they've just lost the support for World of War, and it's noticeable. World of War is now unplayable on the console versions. Or at least I got into one, maybe two games which were playable on World of War. I can get into roughly four on card four because people have gotten bored of it. I don't know why the hackers ruined the game 
and then they move on to the next game. They're like locusts all over the place. So, enough about that. Let's move. Let's move on to uh, to something else. Right? Let's 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 just let's just move on to something else. Another subject. Driving lessons, right? I went for my first driving lesson on Wednesday. First outside driving lesson. I've driven in school before. They have they were held after school lessons as such for those people who wanted to get an advantage when they actually went for their driving lessons. I took that advantage, I took every advantage I possibly can, if it's offered, I'll take it. Yes, please. <laughs> That's just what you gotta do. So I, I took the advantage, and it shows when, I, when it came to taking the driving lesson. He said, maybe one or two more driving lessons and you could possibly go straight for your test. Because I'd already taken several driving lessons beforehand. The hardest part is the theory. Hardest part is the theory. Easy part is driving. At least to me, I didn't find driving that hard. He said there was a few things that I need to iron in out, such as when I changed gear, I left the accelerator slightly compressed, so the engine revved up, which is not good for the engine. Not good for the not good for anything around the car. I mean, doing that when you actually pull the gear back on. Like when you actually pull your pull your foot off the clutch, it kicks the car. The car kicks, and that could ruin tires, ruin suspension, could damage your brakes, damage your bearings, anything like that. So, a few things I need ironing out, such as that, but not too not too much, and I'll be able to go straight for my test. And I can't wait to be honest with you, get myself driving get myself in a car and have a little bit of freedom because to be honest with you, I'm fed up of standing around on the bus stop to go anywhere that gets annoying, yo just so annoying next, new games so any new games you're looking forward to, put in the description description, comments, yeah you got you guys write my description for me that's what I want you to do, you guys write my description no, put it inside the comments what you assume a manwich is? What is your idea of a manwich? I'd love to know. Second, what's your thoughts on hackers? How do you feel about them? What do you think they have ruined? Number three, dedicated servers. If, and I say if, Infinity Ward or Treyarch decide to put dedicated servers on the consoles, would you love it or would you hate it? Or would you love it and hate it? And why? I'd love to know. Last thing is, let's see, driving lessons. Have you taken any driving lessons yet? You planning on driving in the future? Give me a head up in the comments, I'd love to know. And thumbs up the video, please comment rate, subscribe. I'd love it if you'd hit that thumbs up button. But again, if you didn't like it, if you didn't like my voice, if you don't like the way the way I talk, if you don't like how boring I am and how one toned I speak, then by all means hit the thumbs down. If you don't like the gameplay, hit the thumbs down. If you like the gameplay, hit the thumbs up. That's how it works. 